ayubovan dubey pute chapter 1 living tissues is the one what we have been studying now this is simple permanent tissue that is chapter number 1 coming from grade 11 science and we are definitely talking about english medium 11 science and sclerenchyma tissue is the one what we are going to talk about in this video number 5 let's go and talk about sclerenchyma tissues now we have been learning about the permanent tissue in under that permanent tissue we are categorizing and we are learning about simple permanent tissue don't we so we were talking about two other parenchyma and colenchyma now the third type sclerenchyma tissue is the one what we are going to talk about today so The sclerenchyma tissue's cross section of fiber looks like this. It has a lignified cell walls. It has what? A lignified cell walls. Lumen, pit, everything is there. So longitudinal section of the sclerenchyma tissue is also like this. We will see that one further. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to learn about parenchyma, colenchyma and sclerenchyma together so that we will get better understanding about all these features now the tissue that forms the soft parts of the plant body is the parenchyma tissue and that is the most abundant tissue found in the plant and the colenchyma tissue provides mechanical strength and support to the plant body and they are modified parenchyma cells we understood that also now the third one you look here Sclerenchyma tissues helps in providing mechanical strength and support to the plant something very similar to the second one also see now colenchyma tissue provides mechanical strength and support to the plant but sclerenchyma tissues helps in providing it is also giving help now that is a very important thing the most importantly who is doing the mechanical strength and support the colon chema he is the person who's giving mechanical strength and support and this clarin chema is helping clarin chema is helping as a helper so there's a little different over there and this tissue has two types of cells as clarids and clarin chema fibers they got two types of cells the number one is clarids and clarin chema fibers so they can ask this question and remember this now let's understand the sclerenchyma features to better understand the sclerenchyma features once again we have to look this thing together now parenchyma colenchyma and sclerenchyma parenchyma tissue consists of living cells also the colenchyma tissue consists of living cells but sclerenchyma tissue consists of dead cells now this particular sclerenchyma those are dead cells but this and this got life in it okay so sclerenchyma support the mechanical strength along with the colenchyma we understood in our previous one and now you know what is the type of cells they have dead on which and what are the living cells right now sclerenchyma tissues very important one is lignin is deposited on the cellulose cell wall now this can become an mcq question to you they will ask you lignin is deposited on the cellulose cell wall which one is that also they can say that is about scleren okay that is about scleren chema and colon chema and they can also can give you parent chema and they can give another option as none of the above so you know we in which the lignin is deposit 
on the cellular cell wall also they can ask a question like lignin is deposited on where in the sclerenchyma so you must know that it is on the cellulose cell wall that is also very important okay so we came to know how to study deeply now another feature is intercellular space shall we understand that one also now intercellular space may present or may not present that's what we talk about when we were talking about colon chyma now in the parenchyma this intercellular space are present but what about sclerenchyma let's see that cells are tightly packed you can see the picture itself and therefore no intercellular spaces so the intercellular spaces are not available in sclerenchyma unlike the parenchyma the parenchyma definitely got into cellular spaces but in colon chyma may present or may not present remember that one also so this is how your cross section of fiber and longitudinal section of sclerenchyma tissue looks like once again all right now another feature is their cell walls is evenly thickened and form a central lumen you see this one cell wall is evenly thickened and forms a central lumen this is only a feature which has sclerenchyma got cell wall is evenly thickened and forms a central lumen fantastic now we came to know about all the other things let's understand the sclerenchyma location before we understand about the sclerenchyma locations we'll go in little put a little recap put a little recap of other two the location of the parenchyma tissue we just learned in our previous video sessions that cortex and pith of the plant stem and then after that we also learn pith and cortex of the roots you find and also you find in the fleshy parts of the fruits don't you okay we learned about it and also seeds endosperms also you find the parenchyma tissues also the most importantly the mesophylls leaves mesophylls also you find that Having said that the location of the colon comma tissue we understood the colon comma forms a cylindrical tissue inner to the epidermis of herbaceous stems and also on the dicot leaves they are found in the veins of the dicot leaves where the veins of the dicot leaves it's quite interesting that we are going to talk about the location of the sclerenchyma now sclerenchyma location is unlike the other two got a little different place let's understand fibers present in xylem are called as xylem fibers and in phloem as phloem fibers fibers present in xylem are called xylem fibers and phloem as phloem fibers now have you seen these kinds of things of course you have other than about coconut fibers agava fibers and cotton wool are made up of fibers sclerenchyma so everybody knows that when your mothers are yes peeling off and taking off the coconut shells and inside the coconut shells you find these kinds of fibers and these type of fibers are definitely yes it's a sclerenchyma and you can see cotton which is coming out from the cotton wool also you find that one sclerenchyma now Sclerids are found in endocarp of coconut or kaduru and mango fruits the pericarp of guava fruit and in pear fruit and seed coat of coffee and dates endocarp is the shell over there you see this one this is endocarp and endocarp of the coconut kaduru and mango fruits you see this pericarp they're talking about the pericarp of guava it's the outer part sometimes you eat that sometimes you eat that also along with you're eating guava and all right and in pear fruits and seeds coat of coffee and dates you find these kinds of sclerenchyma so you've understood sclerenchyma location interestingly let's understand the function of the sclerenchyma now provides support to the plant body without any doubt it is giving support to the plant body simple and sweet okay now sclerenchyma tissue looks like this it's a lignified wall cross section it's fiber sclerenchyma and sclerids fiber and sclerids fiber and sclerids so lignified secondary wall that we understood so 
we understood where you can find sclerites and where the fibers of sclerin come up. We will meet you in another beautiful session. Until then, goodbye and take care of yourself.